it's the ghost of Dingo's past. He'd remind you, you can catch this live every day on my Twitch. I hope you enjoy the video. What do you think Spike's playing? Definitely playing the Flump deck. No way Spike's not playing Flump. Humans? Humans? Yeah, if I was on the play, this game would have been over already. Instead, I got to fight for my life against this 2-2 champion. Maybe 3-3 champion. You get so much damage. So much damage. Lector mage. Oh, yeah, I can't recast that. I just forget about that. Never text on reflector mage. I'm still gonna fast this regardless, because I need one meta binding here. I'm getting kinda low on life though. My opponent disconnected. My opponent rejoined the game. It's never been flavor text on Reflector Mage. Well, most of the time it's like bounce your creature, kill you. <laughs> In modern, anyways. Esper Sentinel. I'm gonna take the Reflector Mage here. I can take the Vanguard, ping the Esper Sentinel, attempt to survive. Pretty good draw, right? Now I can go grab planes. Binding here. I don't know. I said, no. Hmm. I'm draw a card. Can't imagine letting him draw a card's correct. Just do this and hold the playline binding. I didn't need to fetch that planes, though. I don't want to take the initiate because it can like exile or remove counters to pop the ley line bindings. And just take initiate here and pay the one ward. I get a 3 3. Packing red and 6, that's fine. I get the bounce here, ping here. Set ourselves up pretty well. Seems decent. Double check what I have in my sideboard also. From Coil probably. I guess portable holes decent too. Just like a permanent answer, one of the things. Action specialist gets back Dahlia's lieutenant. Another Karn. I went 0-3. I didn't play very well though. Not play very well at all. But I feel like it's such a fragile glass cannon type of a deck. That's really hard to play without four copies of main deck to fairy. Yeah. So I got a force draw because Moto broke. Which was like pretty unfortunate. I think I just get Worm Coil Engine here. I think I get Haywire Might as a blocker. I can't P hold this, so I'd have to portable hole Dolly's Lieutenant. Yeah, I guess I'd grab it for now, but I probably don't even play it. I want to save it for the one that gives it ward. 
jump block here though. Depending on what they attack. Do we now? I don't think it matters which order I grab it because I'm jumping. Anyways. Not sure that matters. I can do both Worm Coil and Portable Hole. I, mean, I guess I'm kind of dead if there's a Reflector Mage here. Hopefully the last card's not Reflector Mage. Not in the jury now. I didn't like it because I think it's really like fragile. I think it's kind of a meme deck, but reserve judgment because I did not play it very well. Don't reflect your mage me. You have a solitude? Why? Why? I'm going to have to go get the one ring. X me, attacks to fairy. So I can make portable hole a 1-1. One, one. Play second Karn. Get the one ring. I don't know if making a portable hole a 1-1 one, one does anything. That leaves me dead, right? If I played to fairy, portable hole, it leaves me dead. I have to go get the one ring. Getting Worm Coil Engine back here does not save me. <laughs> My Lamb Potting is pretty good. It's not going to play the fairy. Bounce the One Ring after drawing two and then replay it. Good chance both of my walkers are just dying here. It's times like this where I needed an O-Stone on my sideboard. Even though I guess it wouldn't be good. Pop my Leyline Bindings also. Karn, Karn, Tiff. Yep, that's fine. Can't protect the walkers. Mm -hmm. I guess I can Utopia Sprawl first. Nope, no verdict. One, two. If I pay two to fairy, I'm just gonna let him draw a card here. I'm not entirely sure how we get out of this. I guess one ring at a time, huh? Yeah, we do have a lot of draws here. Aren't decent. So I can binding this. Five, all right, we'll pass. Probably need to start binding stuff though. Binding the. Oh no, we shouldn't have passed. If we wanted to binding, we should have main phase the binding so they don't draw off the Esper Sentinel. I don't have any sweepers. That was a mistake. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We have no sweepers in the list. I have no more fetchables. I have a steam vents. I don't know if I'm supposed to get that. One, two. We have a ton of mana, right? The opponent has that life total padded, to say the least. I think I can kill this, pay the tax. It's going to cost me two, and then to ferry, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then play the ring. Are we solid duding this? I'm going to play around this. 
but it just played the very first. Mm -hmm. I just see quid spoilery. I don't know if I draw anymore. I think the answer is probably not. I think I might need every point of life at this point. That's really bad for me. Alright, maybe I need to fetch for Omneth now. Or try to draw to Omneth, I should say. Omneth? Not Omneth? Down to three. Not Omneth. Omneth? I right, found Omneth. Right, it's gonna be like a choose your own adventure. We're gonna start here, bolt the initiate. Probably gonna kill. Kill one of the ley line bindings. That probably gets back an initiate or something. Sure. I'm tapping poorly. Alright, hold up. This blue red Omneth. Out of Fury. I have a Steam Vents in my deck. Steam Vents tapped. Fury. Oh, can I card for Worm Coil? One, two, three, four. No, I'm short. Two and two. And then I guess it's like play halfling. Play halfling. Okay. Survive. <laughs> I'm out of red mana. Name's Karn. Can't really attack me. Yeah, Karn Bridge. Amount of fetchables also. So I have to kill Esper Sentinel. And then Karn. Minus. It's going to cost me a lot of mana. I can go get Haywire Might as a blocker. I can also haywire my, my own ring if I need to. And then we'll just pass. Then we get Worm Coil Engine. And probably turn the corner. So I have to kill them from 50. Oh, uh, what an insane game. Always a possibility that we deck ourselves, right? So we need to uh, be kind of careful about how much we draw with the ring. I think we're probably done drawing with the ring. Maybe one more. I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't help myself. The value, it's too good. Alright, so let's go to Fairy. Pick up Fury. Test Fury. And kill this and one point there. And I can rend minus plus bolt this. And hey, where am I at my own ring? I'm not going to need that anymore. Play land. I'm going to activate Karn. 
Get Warm Coil for two mana. I got him down to 10 minutes. Game actions the deck. I was going alright, Jackal Pup. No, we're not getting ring. Although ring's kind of a good beater, I guess. They attack with a solitude and some other stuff for multiple turns. Yeah, indestructible attacker and blocker. It does everything. It attacks, it blocks. Yeah, this is game one. At lane. Well, my Ren was at one, so my Ren would die. Not sure I want my Ren to die. Is so annoying. Let me animate. I'm not even sure if that was a good block. I know Solitude in this list. I think they're just buying time, trying to give me a timeout, probably. Nope, they conceded. I did not think we were going to dig ourselves out of that game. Just going to run it back here. I don't think I want any changes. That was game one. So, right there also. Sideboarding for game two. Now we're into game two. I accept. I think I put back Brawl. Sure. I think halflings just sprawl a bit better. Maybe they don't pump the Esper Sentinel. Second Esper Sentinel. Grab a Sacred Foundry. Play Ren. A one, not pay the other. Ping an Esper Sentinel, pass the turn. Sprawl doesn't die to Bolt. They're playing humans. <laughs> they don't have Bolt. They might have Reflector Mage here. Jiri now. To add red white here. <laughs> Let's pick up the fetch. Didn't really want to sacrifice my red here, having Omnath and Nissa. This game does feel kind of over. Jirina, number two, S. Uh, let's do white. That oh, works right, green. All right. Omnath, fetch land, make a million mana. Probably just to end the game, right? This is just the Pro Tour list. I didn't put any thought into this list. This is just me net decking straight from the Pro Tour. So we're just playing it as is. I don't know on Twitter. One of the people going to the Pro Tour tweeted it. 
I could have totally spent the second Utopia's Brawl. Not that I think it's going to matter. Now, everybody that's going to the Pro Tour has been, like, tweeting their decks out. Like, Ginger tweeted this deck out. Claudio did. But nobody's surprised. Ginger took Yogmoth. Blue, minus, get me a worm coil. <laughs> flump? I was asking that earlier, Doomwake. How did your flump run go? Chad told me you were 2-2. Two, 3-3. Two. Three. I dropped at 03 after I got a draw because Moto wouldn't let me unyield. Because we both had the same amount of cards in our deck, so I did the auto loop until we had five cards each. Then I hit turn off auto yields, and it was like, no. <laughs> you don't get to turn off auto yields. Then I mulled and I dropped the league. Metamorph, huh? I was just like, nah, you don't get to. Yeah, yeah, kill him in their upkeep. I also misplayed the deck quite a bit. Like, I tried to, um, tried to blacksmith skill my Teferi, thinking that it wouldn't die to combat damage if I blacksmith skilled it. Because <laughs> I just didn't understand how that interaction worked. Kind of papegged it a little bit. Fuck with my portable hole. feel like they're winning this. I feel like they're pretty far behind. Could minus two get the ring. Not even sure I need to though. Might doesn't exile creatures. I can't might their worm coil. What I could do is get Might and then sacrifice it on my own Leyland Binding. That's one of the plays of all time. Give him an Extraction Specialist. A true Utopia Sprawl. When you put it that way, I mean, that's not as fun as just drawing cards, though, right? I have two times the protection. That's right, opponent, two times. Yeah, we're pretty much just spewing. You can never be too careful. I'm at 44. That actually blows up Leyline Binding. Annoying. Yeah, you went wrong somewhere. Um, no, oh, Hexproof and Indestructible. These. Oh, it's got a cool Pioneer deck, right? And a Worm Coil engine. I 
What does this attack accomplish? I'm going to block with my indestructible thing, and then I'm going to gain 6 life. Attack did nothing. Let's get rid of that worm coil. Ooh, I guess they did gain life. All right, let's bounce. Token. Should have bounced the death touch one. Not that I think it matters. Yeah, I probably should have blocked the other way around. Oh well. I just have to make game actions at this point. Besage you. Perfect. Random game actions, go. Slowly kill them. I just like tap poorly, otherwise I could have done this a lot faster. Well, I should have gotten rid of the death touch token, but I bounced the lifelink token. They're just stalling. Just trying to time me out. I get that back next to an opponent. I hope you know that. Alright, I'm done making game actions. Gonna have six through their turn. And I'll link, sorry. We're going for speed. Minus, yes, worm coil. All right, next turn we have the win for sure. I right, added Monk a speed. Yeah, they do have a solitude for the stalls. You're right about that. Attacking me with both. <laughs> 98 seconds on the clock, and he's adding a 7 TV boat. Sometimes you gotta show him who's boss. This is a four color card. Even better. Jesus. Now, this is a deck somebody registered for the Pro Tour. At 2 0, by the way. 50 minute game, or 50 minute match, 2 0. No lands, no lands. People have been tweeting out their lists. Like, Ginger tweeted out their list. Um, Claudio tweeted out his list. People have just been tweeting out their lists. Because they're about to be public tomorrow anyways. Um, let's put back to removal. And I'm playing as Burn. This is not Naya Elves.
Why did I put back two removal spells? Dingo's in danger. Did you just give me? You have that Reed Duke mentality. You're just like, I ain't hear no bell. <laughs> Commendable. Probably dead here, right? It's like a bolt binding and then still die. Not to die, die a lot. Well, so put a ring from your chest, nice. I don't think Karn's gonna find me anything to save me. Find a haywire mine. I can't even cast Karn, because I have basic forest, basic plains, and then windswept teeth. So that means I have to fetch shock. Oh, that's great. It's just awesome. My one. Um, Four bowls, probably fine. I want Chalice in the main deck. I don't really want. I don't really want the one ring. I just took out Karn. Yeah, where's my bottle gnomes? That's a good question. Get dispute out right now. No, I'm gonna dispute a burn spell. It's gonna win me the game. Just watch. I'm playing three Omnaths in my Omnath deck. I need all the help I can get. Not sure the hand gets better than this. That's not a very good picture. <laughs> Tabular, that's for sure. We managed to piece it together. Cancel, hold on. Don't be an idiot, Dingo. I almost botched that one. Finding's gonna cost me three planes. I guess I could just Teferi bounce this. And we'll just bind again. It's gonna cost me three mana. Endurance. We'll see what they do. Another one. If I do just endurance. Endurance doesn't sound so bad now. Take that goblin guide back. More one drops. You know, more one drops. Those who's pay for your flight? I have no idea. <laughs> no, haven't done it. Get used to him. Times are tough now, so maybe not. Not since 2020. Like I said, times are tough. They dead here. They fetch shock to fairy pick up chalice and then bolt them. They die in their upkeep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We are playing a combination deck here. They might be able to kill me in upkeep. I'd like to see them try. Submit. Deck's perfect. Sure. I mean, it's a fast Omnath, so I can't really ask for too much more. Thankfully, I didn't have a creature either. Stomping ground. I don't want to sequence my fetches here. 
I go shock, stomping ground, utopia sprawl, I'm blue. I get planes. I can cast a fairy. It's probably the way, right? Not shock any of your lands. I don't see a fetch for Omnath. Do I'm gonna turn one stomping ground pass? Basic forest utopia sprawl. App stomping ground on two. That doesn't seem great. A flump flute. So hard. I don't know if that's an option. I don't know if basic forest utopia sprawl is an option. I don't think it is. Alright, I'm gonna trust Jeremy on this one. So I can blame him when I lose the game. Hope scapegoat? Nah. Well, maybe. Um, fetch forest. Rain hurts. Fetch forest. Utopia sprawl on blue. Halfling haywire might. And then I have blue, red. Bite off the halfling. I could play Omnath fetch land next turn. Leyline Binding is so uncastable. Unfortunate. Slightly more fortunate. Lightning Bolt on top. Go to Fairy, minus on nothing. Bolt, go. Had to do it like that. But now I get to cast Omnath and then play fetch land with the fairy. Plus I'm dead here. I don't think I can be off of two cards and at eight life. Yep. Now I'm at one. <laughs> Jeremy Pin, do not shock any of your lands. Well, this game would have played out completely differently had I shocked my land, right? Because then I would have been a turn faster at the same time. So unpin that right now. Nobody needs to see that. Alright. Yata! Good thing they conceded because I was out of lands. <sighs> I didn't. Twin Peaks. What is Twin Peaks? Search. On Google. The movie from 1990. Never seen it. That came out eight years before I was born. Never seen it. Unmute. It is unmuted. MP, thank you for the 100 bits. PK, thank you for the tier 1. Welcome back for the 8 months. Where did the Flump deck come from? The Flump deck came from... What? Blood Crypt? Goblin Guide? What's happening? It was from a 5-0. What? Run with Bowmaster? All right. Yep, it is. It is, it is. Hope he is sprawl, huh? Why is the ring bad in Rhino's? Rhino's main problem is, like, getting stuck on two. So adding another four drop to the deck, probably not great. But Lorian Revealed's amazing in that deck because you can cycle it and actually hit your land drops. I'm surprised they bolted the halfling. the rings cracked and i've never played it with the ring i'm just speculating because i haven't seen a lot of lists that have the ring in rhinos bump in the night in the night and bolt my face as well i am at three 
a nice and comfortable life total against the burn deck. Uh, nothing like being at three. I'm not. Save me. Oh, shit. All right. I'm very dead. Unless they have nothing in hand. Maybe if they only have sorceries in hand, then we'll be okay. Yeah, opponent's playing Mardu Burn. I'm not gonna drop my ring too. Just go to two, because I can't beat anything at this point. Oh, I can use that to bolt myself. That'll be good. Dun, 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 dun. You don't get to kill me. I kill me. Portable hole. How did we sideboard last time? We took out all the rings, all the cards. I brought in the three endurances, two mystical disputes. I'm just gonna board the same exact way. I can board that one random one to fairy. Playing Bring the Light with four Chalice Man has been kind of gas. I don't even think Chalice is that good right now, to be honest. I think they grabbed Eagle's Cage from a secret lair. Could be wrong. This is, just, this is gonna say, like, Magic Online promo. Yeah, I don't think Chalice is very good right now. It does nothing against Skim. It does nothing against Four Color, and those are, like, the two most popular decks at the moment. So, enlighten me. I guess if you run into nothing but living it, it's pretty good. It does nothing until Omnath. I'm gonna keep it. Nothing until Omnath is my jam. Thanks, Paladin. Appreciate the kind words. Needle? We needling. It better not be flooded, Strand. The one ring? I took those out. Draws a hate wire bite. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Overboarding? Burn players? Overboarding? No. I can't be right. Needled the one ring. A lightning bolt out. Pithing needle in. Watch out for surgical. I mean, they are splashing black, so they don't need to pay life. How do you beat scam? Look inward. I don't know how I'm supposed to respond to that. That's such an incredibly vague question. When? Like, <laughs> how am I supposed to respond to this? Uh, well, I think I uh, might, uh, yep. I mean, the attack was free. Sure. Missed one point of damage. True. I'm sure that'll make the difference. Yeah, I boarded it out. The ring is really bad against burn. They'll needle haywire might? Probably. And this haywire might, they just kind of dumpster them. No, I don't hold it for a turn, because then it can prevent me from gaining two life. Need that two life. Flame Rift. Flame Rift bump in the night. I should have made green green. I could have actually cast Endurance. God dang it, Dingo! You're so dumb! Nice. I just knew that was gonna happen. As soon as I clicked red for the first one, I was like, oh wait, I can draw endurance. You were in the pro tour and you had to choose between rhinos and living end. Why does your father not love you? Um you weren't a good son. Damn, right at the end of the epic music drop too. Down to eight. I think they have skull crack. Hmm. I think they have path to exile. They have deflecting bomb. Not gonna crack the fetch. Miss one life. Nobody's ever paid for Omnath successfully on the first try. It's true. One of the hardest things in magic. Now need. It's 
Skullcack in a Boros Charm? No. <laughs> no. Say it ain't so. Yeah, if you had a filter land, it's all over. Alright, everyone. I'm going to resubmit. I'm going to use the restroom chat. I'll be right back. Alright, chat. Let's discuss this hand. No Omnath, no keep. Great talk. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I think this is a mulligan. Uh, well, I mean, well, I mean, I don't think I've seen a Rift Bull yet. I have to keep this. I don't have a choice anymore. Goodbye, Centaur Corsair. Goodbye, Portable Hole? Cancel. Maybe I want to keep this Nissa and just put back the Teferi. Because Nissa could find me on that, yeah. Am I putting back Portable Hole, or am I putting back Halfling? Am I playing Tapland on one? I think they played a Syrian Blaze game one. I don't remember. Chalice? I think Chalice is bad. Hmm. The thing about Halfling? I don't know. I said put back the Halfling. That's fine. I can go turn one Portable Hole if I need to. Turn two Chalice. Hope it's the best. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's great. But I get the reasoning behind putting back the Halfling. I agree, it's not great. Being on 5 already sucks. So maybe I'm just supposed to put back... I don't know. I don't know. Chalice on the draw is not that good. Be a mold of 5 on the play? How is that worse? <laughs> I would love to be on the play with this hand. Put back the portable hole, turn 1 halfling, turn 2 chalice on 1? Like, that would be great. Bike bumped. Okay, viewer. They probably have a bump in their hand, which means that this chalice might actually do something. Now that we have good draws, <laughs> I need two lands. The knob death, and the, for this lightning bolt to not be in my hand. Yeah, this isn't looking very good. Maybe the rest of their hand is one drops. Playing a Pro Tour deck. I did not make any of the decisions for the cards in this deck. Just playing one of the Pro Tour decks. Five and below feels worse on the play than the draw in most matchups, but not this one. In this one, you need all the tempo you can get. Smash? They didn't even see Chalice. Ugh. Zing was so right. Did they bring that in thinking that it was going to do something against... I don't know. I can't think of anything. Eight wire bite. I was thinking maybe the ring. Survive. <laughs> I need to survive. I'm not going to survive, am I? Yeah, I hate this game. I hate this game. I wasn't going to get there anyways. No land in the top two. Hands terrible. Damn, Bamzing was so right. I just kept that halfling over the chalice. I would have won that game. It's Jeremy's fault. Thanks, Jeremy. Let's put back the stirrings here. Can smash halfling. Rid of both creatures. Mm. I mean, Nissa did find me Omnath. Bamzing, when can I hire you on Metify? I need to know. <laughs> it's plus here. Might be wrong. Nissa says draw target elemental. And I think that's a little bit higher odds than, you know, drawing a random card, being Omneth. Island? Come on. I need that. Violet Line Binding. You're right, it's not. I'm making one of the dumbest plays in history. I think I'm going to do it.
Pick up windswept heath. Fetch a forest. No, this is the Raghavan Respect. Pick up halfling. Play halfling. Go. <laughs> this is the most Raghavan respectful thing ever. Nice turn, thanks. Why are you yelling at your computer? Maybe you'd be happier if you'd stop yelling, Jeremy. Oh, the undying main phase? Yo. Just to attack me. I mean, I'm still gonna block. Wait, do I even block? Do I care? I don't think I care. Oh, should've cared. Plus one coin. Well, I didn't know they were gonna undying. You know, if they didn't undying, I would've traded. But they just wasted a card for a coin, so like, that's fine. They're gonna fury me now, which is gonna feel really bad, but it's besides the point. Oh, just a grief. What is this, amateur hour? I drew a card. Yeah, see? Chad gets it. <laughs> yeah, the Undying was pretty bad, right? I'm supposed to start attacking with this halfling. <laughs> to show him who's boss. More grief? Not Besager is Mount Doom. But Besager looping them is typically not very good. Since they run, you know, three basic swamps. <laughs> Big flump. <laughs> Green Wire. Thank you so much for the Prime. Welcome back for the four months. Yeah, let's hit the Mount Doom. Not trying to get pinged over here. I mean, it's also just thinning their deck for them, which is like not super ideal. Trend's going all the way. I think I'm going to do the same thing I just did. Hold up, can we big brain this? Or just attack them for one? So I'm going to bounce this, I'm going to replay it. I think I floated blue. I should just float a red. Okay, I could draw an Omnath off of this. Oh, I look like an idiot. Oh, no. Chocobo's back on. The song ended. Oh, Karn. Hmm. Found it on Twitter. I mean, I could just get, like, a Tormod script. Not that that's great. I could just not play the Karn. And, like, protect my red and six. I think I'm just going to protect my red and six from the Raghavan. Yeah. It's fine. What a waste of a turn. There goes my perfectly good turn. Gone. No dark steel on the sideboard, unfortunately. Would have been sweet. Let's kill that and then binding Dothy. Arn. Minus. I think I just get a chalice on one here. Yeah, I think I'm down for that. I don't have a Ragavan in hand still. Ouch. Your vault's way better. Why does it make a difference? All right. Let's take the veil. Uh, three endurance. Sign me up. I don't really like Utopia Sprawl here because if they do Blood Moon me, the Utopia Sprawl is most likely gonna fall off unless it's on the basic forest. So I think I can side that out. I don't like everything else, I guess the stirrings can be a cut. Or that indestructible keyword sucks. And it certainly wouldn't be on 100 ticket cards, that's for sure. Uh, I gotta cut one more card. Let's cut a halfling. 
Because I don't know what else to cut. Wow, this hand looks terrible. This hand also looks pretty bad. I guess I keep this one, though. What's up, Lucho? Don't scam me. That's fine. I probably should have played the fetch there instead. But I was thinking I might fetch a basic island if I top deck something that fetch me a basic planes. Genius. Yeah, I saw that. The blue eye control. Master. Like low key want to get a sacred foundry here, but it's not in my best interest. Well, the fairy is looking a little uncastable here. The second blood moon, for when the first one doesn't tickle your fancy enough. Draw the island, please. I'd like to draw a ring instead, or even a Karn. And also take a Fury. The third Blood Moon, for when the second and the first Blood Moon don't tickle your fancy. Oh, I was hoping it was the fourth Blood Moon. Yeah, we play four blood moons, the lantern back. You bring your dog on stream sometime? No. So one dog refuses to come in my room because he hates it in here. And the other dog, every time I let him in my room, he takes something and he runs away. I, I, literally, I could let him in here for five seconds and he'll take something and run away. He'll take my shoes, he'll take my socks. He'll take my jacket. One time he took my galaxy earbuds and then he tore them to shreds. I didn't even realize he took them. They were just like sitting on my table and he jumped up on the table, grabbed them and just destroyed them. I was like, oh, thank you. Appreciate that. So now he's not allowed in here anymore. And he's like, hey, look at me. I'm so clever. Except my dog, whenever he takes something and he runs away, if you don't immediately chase him, he'll start chewing on it because he knows it makes you upset. But if you don't even notice it, he'll just start chewing on it. He's eating like three TV remotes. I can supervise him. He's fast as fuck. And he will take something. He does it every time. He's a Rhodesian Ridgeback. <laughs> Your fault for not having four remotes. Homie just thinks it's hilarious. Take the cam out to the dog. I got bad news for you. I have a three foot cord. Just how it feels to be all powerful and veil your scam opponent. Spike registered mill, he told you personally. Had a boy. I drew the endurance too. Could have told just endurance them too. Not that I needed to. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Damn, it feels good to draw all basics. Exodia into Karn into get the Tormod's script for now. Get a worm coil soon. Your dad works at Aspiring Spike. No way. Mine too. It's my Karn. Unbelievable. I just chalice on one. I could chalice on one. Chalice of chalice on two. Oh, 
watch out, they might blood moon you. Hope they blood moon me. I should play plus current. Plus current on my chalice. <laughs> plus current on chalice, go. How much damage are they taking? I only have one red source. Ah, oh, well. Infinite Veil of Summer, Infinite Lightning Bolt. Are they gonna cast a Bowmaster into my Chalice? Uh. No. What did you think was gonna happen? Uh, no. Alright, Chalice 2 prediction. Last match of the day for me is limited to happen. Rounds 1 through 3 of the Pro Tour are limited. So, 2 a.m. Pacific, 5 a.m. Eastern is when the Pro Tour starts on Friday. First three rounds are going to be limited, and then I'm going to go live after the three rounds of limited are over. On Chet, like Machete T. Hold on. That was a terrible analogy. <laughs> I can't cast Ren in 6. I don't think I'm going to fetch yet. I don't know what I want to fetch. Can I fetch a third land? It's playing Zoo? What's the 7k followers? Getting there. Getting there. I think I'm just going to get a stomping ground tapped here. That way, no matter what land I draw... I can cast Ren in 6. I guess this is getting a Steam Vents? Steam Vents? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of these do I want back? It's like the Windswept Teeth back. This card list is kind of sweet though. I'm not sure I agree with 100% of the card choices in it. But I do like Karn in four colors so far. I just wish there was a little bit more utility to go grab. Like some sort of Karn Silex, mayhaps, or an Engineered Explosives. They stomp me in the face. I think they're playing that five color zoo list, yeah? They might be on Rhino? Oh. Alright. Well, now we know. Knee Sop? Add red fetch for forest. They probably kill her. That's fine. I play my red and six anyways. My Nissa. Oh seven for Nissa. I haven't been a huge fan of the unholy heats. I mean, they're okay, but I haven't had delirium yet, so <laughs> can't say they've been any better than lightning bolt. These feel like more copies of lightning bolt. Excuse me. One, two, Tribal Flames, Ren and Six. They really hate Ren and Six. That's kind of funny because if they went upstairs with all this burn, they could have just killed me by now. I'm about to have Delirium, I guess. Not that I think I need it, anyways. Let's go ring here. We'll get a Trium. Now, if I play Bone Crusher, I could like Bolt Bone Crusher, Heat Scion. Something like that. I go down to 10. Oh. Eat. Fetch Island, Karn. I might have Stub. Plus on the ring, and then next turn I can go get Worm Coil. High five. I 
Maybe just keep plusing. Start attacking them with the ring until they die. Take them down. I like this list. I don't know if it's better, but I like it. My other option is go get Worm Coil, which is like something to consider as well, right? Fetching the four, interestingly. Means they're dead to the ring next turn. Respect. All right, well, I don't really wish to fall to five here, so I'm going to Karn minus, and I'm going to get a second ring. You're binding in response to them, they don't get to draw. I got bad news for them, they don't get to draw anyways. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Barn says no. No draw. Not allowed. Oh, Orb of Planting. Plantings, I think it's called. Orb of Plantings. Give me your Orb of Plantings. I'm gonna Teferi bounce attack him with the ring. Call the day. In my upkeep. Yeah, I can. Tribal Flames, two of my planeswalkers. Two ran and sixes in a row. Had they gone upstairs with their burn spells, they would have easily won this game. But instead, they just like fired them off at ran and six and died. Kind of crazy. Big changes? Ah. Numbers just seem weird to me, like one Ancient Stirrings, two Utopia Sprawl, this seems like really weird to me, right? No Solitudes is certainly a decision, three Omnaths is a, certainly a decision, so I think just the numbers are weird. Yeah, aggro deck, not playing aggro. I think I would just fine tune the numbers. This is, this kind of just looks like a deck for like a Pro Tour specific metagame where they're expecting to beat certain things but i think in a wide open field you are better off just going like four 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 keep in mind this is also like open deck lists so playing one ofs gets better in an open deck list format right i don't even know if i'm sideboarding here i don't think i am because if you play one ofs then your opponent has to think about it constantly and try to play around a bunch of one ofs you see a lot of Pro Tour lists that opt for like one copy of some random haymaker, even though it wouldn't be good in like a uh, more generalized open field. Yeah, you gotta play around the one of steerings. Look, that's not what I meant. <laughs> like the one Nissa, but yeah, the one steerings too. Gotta play around it. I don't think I'm sideboarding. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doesn't show the numbers. I'm pretty sure it shows the numbers, right? Everything's open. We're going to use this fetch land. And then we're going to binding this. Unless I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure everything's open for the Pro Tour. I changed the Triumphs. I just used my own stock mana base that I had. Typically, Planeswalkers are pretty good against 4-color, so can't be too bad. The mana base was not very different. It was one Triumph different. This was a Mardu Triumph instead of this. Or maybe it was instead of this. One of these two was a Mardu Triumph. See, people always say, like, Indatha Triumph's better, but my issue with Indatha Triumph is that oftentimes you're going to want to go, like, if you have the Indatha Triumph in your hand and you're against a Blood Moon deck, you want to fetch basic forest, basic plains as your first two basics, and if you have Indatha Triumph plus forest plus plains, you can't cast Omnath on four. 
which is my issue with Indotha Triome, which is why I think Zagat's a lot better. I mean, it's all, like, pretty marginal at the end of the day. Jeez, Ferg. Are you playing Boros or Mardu Burn? I had, like, two Burn opponents back-to-back. -back. It's exclamation mark music. Exclamation mark music will get you where you need to go. Uh huh. Take my Teferi. Goodbye, Tev. <laughs> if they have some sort of counter spells up, I think I'm gonna wait a turn on this card. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a turn on this card. The Zelda game that I played the most, oh, it might have been, I think it was a tie between like Link's Awakening and um, the precursor to Spirit Tracks. I'm forgetting the name, Phantom Hourglass. That's what it was. Played those two the most. Aragorn. Holy shimole. Bolted Renin 6 and dealt 3 to me. Killed my Renin 6. I have in the uh, anti Aragorn department? Hmm. Nothing. I guess I'm waiting on this Karn again. I'm gonna wait until I can go Karn minus Haywire Might. Haywire Might, XL Leyline Binding. Pick up the Aragorn here. Maybe that's all wishful thinking. But then if I pick up the Aragorn and they don't murder me. That I can find Worm Coil the next turn. Certainly a decision to play Aragorn and Scion of Draco in the same deck. Go about that one. And the Holy Heat, and I only have two types, by the way. A wee bit awkward. I have to go up to four types so I can get this Haywire Might. What are we doing to my Karn? What are your intentions with my Karn? Hey, Augmont's great. When it makes a 1-1. One, one. It's back to giant creature. Uh oh. We're in trouble. They get to kill my Teferi, they get to kill my Karn. I'm in danger. Aragorn's been like a vanilla 5 5, but you know. To have vanilla 5 5 is pretty good here. I get up, Dingo, it's not over. I ain't hear no bell. They're keeping their cards in hand. I think I want to save this binding. The old turn 7 Delirium. Find dead to a couple copies of Tribal Flames or Bolt. Well, Master Zoo is pretty fun. Definitely gonna have to revisit that sometime soon. Big Draco. Not helpful. Um, let's go red. Red go. I need an Omnath. Have any popular non-big mana decks played Karn before? Ponza. Ponza used to play it. Some blue-white variants played it. 
Come on, ancient earrings. Come on, Omnis. Come on, deck. Group me. I just have no idea what's in their hand. I'm just dead, right? I'm just dead the lightning bolt. Uh, work with me, deck. I don't know what's in their hand, but I'm dead now. Imagine playing a 43 land deck. Yeah, we're like a. Not only are we a 22 land deck, but we also have two Besejus. But Utopia Sprawl is kind of like a land also. Alrighty, game three. And it's good. Keep it. This is an absolute bop. Holy moly. What is this song? Mario Kart 64 Bonus Beach? That's our cyborg playing against Aragorn. Maybe I bring a mystical dispute for Aragorn. He's pretty good here. See you next time. I was homeless. Now, I am homeless with a 14-month sub. <laughs> Lexi, thank you for the 14. I appreciate it. Welcome back. It's ring time. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. They probably like the main phase, Leyline binding this ring, right? If they have it. 5-5. Five, five. They don't have it? Yo, Bean, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a wonderful stream. I guess Somnath time. Have the binding? They do have the binding. I guess they didn't care enough to binding the ring. I'm just gonna binding this Kavu. If I do it now, if I do it now, they could have a second binding. I wanna kill this Ren. Not particularly. Let's wait. Alright, now I'll do it. And I'm stubborn dial up. Opponent's also playing like Aragorn and Orb of. Planting, I don't remember its name. Playing a lot of janky stuff. Aragorn's for losers. Like, I don't want to say that because I might lose. <laughs> Could very easily lose here. Endurance. Uh, yep. Got the card is printed sideways. Give it time. We will draw soon enough. Okay, I'm gonna fetch land. Yay! Just remember, chat, if you're not getting what you want in magic, just complain a little bit more. Could cast Fury here. I have so many options. I think I'm just gonna cast Fury. And Fury. Put her in six. I suppose there's a world where I could lose from this spot to like three copies of Tribal Flames. Is that a world we're living in? Maybe. I will take the content loss if that's what it comes to. I actually probably should discard the stomping ground because I'm gonna run and six pick up a land no matter what next turn I think. Save the other to fairy. I don't know. Bolts to fairy. I mean they do have three red, but 
does not appear they have that many tribal flames. Yeah, they're playing a ton of triumphs over there. I honestly don't know what kind of brew they had going on over there. They are cooking. Cooking what? I'm not sure. I guess cooking up another loss. Congratulations, believers. Well, that deck was sweet. Again, I'm not sure about these. Like, I don't think I like these six cards. These six cards felt weird to me. I definitely want a fourth Omneth. I think I would cut these six and play something else. I don't know what I would play, but I'd probably play something else. I miss Solitude too, a little bit. Also, I would get a, a better card board. I don't think I'd want Mystical Disputes or Endurance is probably fine. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>